I just got back from a week long family vacation well we went on Monday evening and we came back on Friday morning we could have stayed until Friday night but for me and my boyfriend it was more than enough not that I don't like my family for reference but we are two people who enjoy calm and quiet and we are a bit more to ourselves than liking all those family events and stuff so for us those days were more than enough we had a lot of social activities and we are not the most social people to be honest i mean i work with people and i also work with dogs and that's enough for me on a daily basis so to spend an entire week with not being able to pull back every now and then because you are stuck in one house together so basically from morning until you go to bed you are constantly around each other and you are constantly playing games having activities there are two small children there which have quite a lot of noise i do love them by the way they are the best um but yeah it's just a lot of work for me personally so um i am now home since friday Friday noon or something it is now Monday I don't have to work until Wednesday so lucky me but like on Saturday we had to go to my parents because normally this was a vacation that we were supposed to celebrate my father's birthday but since he has started his cancer treatments he didn't uh, he couldn't come it was too too much for him um, so unfortunately he wasn't there so he and my mom weren't there it was just me and my sister and her husband and children so um, we went on Saturday to celebrate his birthday and then yesterday we had to go to my boyfriend's family which is also a very big family it's like 40, 40, 40 people something like that so we were exhausted like my social battery has run out I needed a break luckily for me I was able to plan tomorrow free as well or I was clever enough to plan tomorrow free as well so what I'm going to do today is I'm going to the gym now then I'm going home and I'm going to start on my lunch which is a very early lunch I know that but that's okay so Let's go. I just finished in the gym. I had a pretty good session, I would say. Um, I didn't go that long, but it's still a pretty good session. And I'm in my head, I'm like, everything I do is still better than sitting on the couch. So I'm happy with me going. I think I went for about an hour and a half, maybe a little less. And I spent 25 minutes on a treadmill as um, in the end. So I'm now going to the store, pick up some things to make my lunch. So yeah, let's go guys. I am currently at the parking lot for my work. I'm going to work at the bookstore today. Yesterday was a grooming day. Um, today is bookstore day. One of the downsides about working two part-time jobs, well, one is a part-time job and one is a small business, is the fact that you don't have something to completely focus on. Like, for instance, when I came home, I was just too tired to do my accounting thing. And normally you would say, well, you can do it 
uh, in the morning, but I have to work at another place now. So, and also the fact that I just so I I sometimes really struggle with feeling like a full grown ass educated groomer because I only groom two days, and sometimes I feel like I lack the knowledge in the bookstore with all the new hypes and stuff because I only work there three days. So. I do work five times a week, but it's two days grooming, three days bookstore, and it sometimes makes me feel like I, I know I'm not good enough for both of these jobs, so that's just how it is, guys. Um, so I'm going to open the bookstore now, and then we'll see. Um, there might be an opportunity in a few years where I can take over the entire bookstore. I'm not sure if that's something I want to do, but it is an option. Um, so yeah, we'll see how that goes. Oh, I currently am reading Hellfire. Hellf Hellfire? Hellf I don't know how to pronounce it. I will put a picture here. Um... I did not expect it to get this um, spicy so early on in the book. Like, I'm only at chapter, I think, 5 or 6. And it's, like, spicy all the way. Um, I do love the writing style. I think it's actually really good written. Um, it flows easily. It reads easily. So, I think this is going to be a good book for me. I just hope it's not going to be solely focused on spice and not on plot, but I don't have that feel with it. So I think this is going to be a pretty good read. So yeah, I will talk to you guys later. Bye. Gotta love those leftovers. Um, leftover mac and cheese, by the way, so <laughs> delicious. Then I am probably going to read Hellfire. I'm sorry, guys, still don't know how to pronounce the name. Hellfire or Health? Hel I think Hellfire, but with a, with a, I don't know how you say it, Epsilon? Um, so. I'm either going to read that book further or I'm going for um, 
the second book of the Rich Kingdom, which I also forgot the name of, but I still really like that book, so I am almost halfway with that. Now, I think I'm going for that book because I do want to finish a book very soon, like today or tomorrow, so... And I noticed that when I get home from work and we have had our dinner and we have the chance to relax, we always go for Supernatural. Guys, I really do like watching Supernatural. We are currently, I think, at episode, not episode, like season 7, I think so, it's season 7. Um, but like, sometimes I just want to take a break and read. But the boyfriend does not understand that. He's like, no, we have to watch Supernatural. Um, and normally I will read on the days that he goes to the gym. Because if he goes to the gym, he will go from probably like 8 till 11. So then I will have my time to read and to focus on that. But he has been having some back problems lately. So no gym time. So no reading time for me. So I think I will have to say him today that... I will have to read for at least an hour because I cannot seem to catch up on all those books that I got. So, not the most ideal, but it is what it is. Yeah. God, it's so busy on the road. Which, oh, which I understand because obviously most people are done with work to, at this point. But still, why aren't the other days that I stop at this hour not so busy and now today it is super busy? I don't know. Um, so I will probably film what I'm going to read. those who have read the bridge kingdom and are now on the second book or not or just trying to read the second book or have finished the second book what do you guys think does um aaron have to forgive lara or are we still mad at her because at this point i'm like dude just fix something dude you hate it when drivers just just completely stop without using their blinkers is it blinkers i think it's blinkers and just go full on their brake and then just whoop and i'm like dude just use your freaking blinkers it's probably not blinkers but to me they are blinkers in english <laughs> Bye, guys.
pretty hot. So by um, just went to a store, picked up two basics, one with a round neck and one with a v-neck, hoping these will fit me. Picked up some new underpants, just basic ones, pretty cheap. If these are comfortable, then I will probably get more. And then I picked up something that I had been wanting to try for a while, and this was only like four euros, so not really that big of a waste. So I picked up a um, crochet set. <laughs> Never done something like this. So it's to make like little Rudolph. So let's see if I can do this. I'm now going to go and I will talk to you guys later. So I have accumulated quite a few books over the past, let's say, month, like all these books. And my shelves are getting out of hand quite a bit. I also have these. Um, might leave them on there, might put them in the new bookcase as well. And I actually wanted one of these tall Billy bookcases put there, but the problem was the electric sockets is that what you say i don't know so the thing was i can get a bookcase but i have to put it on this side and if i put one very tall one then i had to take these down and my boyfriend was like it's too big of a hassle just buy a smaller bookcase um for now and when we move into the new house you can get like the bookcase you actually want so i went to ikea and bought myself a small bookcase. Now, for those who know me, know that my skills with putting together furniture are non-existent. Like, seriously non-existent. So, <laughs> I can wait until the boyfriend gets home. But on the other hand, I'm like, let's try and make him proud and do this ourselves. I mean, he is putting the floors in our house at the moment, so he will be tired when he gets home. So I will try and do this myself. <sighs> so, yeah, you guys can watch me struggle with this.
Guys, yeah, I did this. I did this myself. I'm proud of myself. And now I can put those books over there. And I'm wearing my Grinch socks and I am happy. Now, I had to use a hammer to put in the back from these bookcases and I didn't have a hammer. And like I said, I didn't want to wait until the boyfriend came home, so... I used <laughs> the little <laughs> salt. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, well, don't say I get I'm not creative because <laughs> I am creative. Whoops. Oh, I'm so excited to put my books away, so yeah. <laughs>